Well, good evening and welcome to Cumbria, uh, to Arnside to be specific and uh, come here to visit my parents and uh, me and my dad are going to walk up Arnside not for sunset, so looking forward to that. Now the ravages of climate change are all too clear here because unbelievably for this part of the world the sun is actually out, so something is obviously wrong. Um, but no, looks like it's going to be a magnificent sunset, so uh, right, we've got a, a walk up the hill uh, to the famous Arnside Knot. So uh, looks like we're going to get into a staring contest here with the deer. I don't know if you can see it over there. It seems to be. Oh, it's uh, it's not moving. Bambi-like. Is it beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So a young, a young deer. Arnside is better known for its old ears though, isn't it? Uh, so, Morecambe Bay. Haysham Nuclear Power Station in the distance, being lit up nicely by the sun's light. When I say that, um, it might be by its own light, and though that's normally green. So I, I guess it's the, uh, I guess it's the sun's light. Oh, a bit of a gale blowing at the top here. So the vast expanse of the sands at Morecambe Bay there stretched out before you and uh, got the wind for, uh, turbines going round at a rate of knots. Down in the valley floor there you've got an old, what's that, some sort of old farm building or castle or something or a, that, you know, the by the holiday park. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh and there over in the distance the flat top of Ingleborough which apparently once used to be considered the highest mountain in England uh, but is, is well short I mean it's only just over 2,000 feet we believe uh, as opposed to over 3,000 feet uh, four of the ones in the Lake District so uh, there you go beautiful up here most a lot of it in shadow now as the Sun continues to descend So we, we make our way through a little bit of a wooded area here. Um, the sun continues to go down, casting a really nice light on the trees here, on the top of Arnside Knot.
Okay, so we approach this uh, viewpoint with a bit of anticipation, uh, hoping for a really, really good sunset. Oh, it's coming through the gate nicely. Gates are really, they're good in landscape photography. They kind of like invite you through, don't they? In a way. Right. There's the little kind of viewing place. And uh, here you can identify some of the uh, bells. You've got Walney Island over there. Uh, Stickle Pike that way. And over to this one, You've got Bow Fell, nearly 3,000 feet going off that way. Uh, the famous Helvellyn with Stride and Edge going off that way and then looking down the uh, Kent estuary and there's the setting sun. just witnessed a really nice sunset with the sun going down. Do you know what that particular pike is, Dan, or that ridge? Well, it's the western end of the lake. Well, we'll stick with that. Yeah. We're, we're, we're the, so the sun went down over the western end of the, uh, the lake district and just beautiful still evening, not a cloud in the sky, but there is a bit of haze. And that haze kind of was really red, wasn't it? Like, like a really... Yeah given a sharp contrast to the ridge line of hills. nice and even now we've still got that red glow in the sky it's almost like the uh, the Lake District's eaten its ready break I mean obviously to get that sort of reference you probably have to be quite a, an aged sort of television viewer <laughs> maybe from the 70s or 80s when those adverts were out but anyway yeah a ready break glow on the sort of northwestern horizon um, illuminates the Lakeland Peaks uh, on this really nice evening. So, really enjoyed doing a bit of photography tonight. Hopefully, hopefully some of those pictures have come out all right. So, here from the top of Arnside Knot, I'd like to say thank you for joining me and I will see you on the next one.